Let's talk about home security. That should be a top priority for any homeowner. If you don't know me, I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. So what are some good tips and security systems that you can use to keep your family and your property safe? The first thing we're gonna talk about are smart locks and security cameras. So if you're not familiar with smart locks, you can lock and unlock your door from your phone. So if your kid got off the bus, got to the front door and it's like, crap, I don't have my key, you can unlock the door for them right from your phone. You can assign individual passcodes a lot of times with those kind of door locks so that you know kind of who's coming in and out of your house. You can make a particular passcode if you have someone who needs to have access to your home to get to your HVAC unit or an appliance repair, whatever, and then just delete that code once those people's job is done. You would get notified by your smartphone whenever someone is coming in or leaving your home which is kind of cool. That way you know when the kids are home and when they're not, or when they've come home and then they've left out again and they're not supposed to. But it also is gonna help you know if anybody is staking out your house. Obviously, you're gonna be able to see who's coming up to the door. If it's somebody you don't recognize, you can talk to them. Hey, what are you doing here? You don't have to worry about hiding keys away because you know what? Burglars know where all the hideaway key places are you're not gonna find something new and creative, so don't do the hideaway key thing. You're gonna have enhanced security because most of the time, you're gonna have a four digit code to push in on these smart locks, and the odds of someone getting the correct four digit code is gonna be like one in 10,000, and a burglar's not gonna stand there and keep punching in codes hoping to get it when people are passing by them all the time. But smart home automation is pretty cool because you can actually control your locks with your voice. And so you would use like your Amazon Echo or your Google Home. And let's say you come home from the grocery store, you thought the kids were home to unlock the door, but they're not. And you've got your hands full of groceries and you can say, Alexa, unlock the front door. And Alexa will unlock your front door. Let's say you're washing the dishes and you're like, oh, I forgot to lock the garage door. Hey Siri, could you lock the garage door for me? Now, there's a lot of cool, nifty things you can do, but when you think about it, it really is adding just an extra layer of security to your home when you use the smart locks and security cameras. Now, there's a lot of different alarm systems out there. I'm not here to sell you one. I don't care what kind of alarm system you use, but what I would tell you is you wanna make sure that there's some kind of backup for your alarm system if your Wi-Fi goes out. Some of the most popular ones are going to be Simply Safe. It's like less than 20 bucks a month. You've got ADT, which is around 30. A couple of other companies are Cove and The Vent, which are anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks as well. So you want to make sure that you're checking out the features that each one offers. And then again, what are your options if your Wi-Fi goes out? Because any smart burglar is probably going to cut your internet before anything. The last tip I'm gonna give you is to make sure you're keeping your doors and windows locked. Install motion sensor lights so that if somebody's walking up to your house in the dark, the floodlights come on. And make sure that you trim back bushes that are near entryway points. Those are just common sense tips, but sometimes we just don't think about things like that. And you should always be aware of who's coming up to your home. You don't want to give anybody a place to hide. A secure home is a happy home. So be sure to follow if you want more valuable homeowner tips like these.